Hello everyone, this is Akash here from BlenderSchool.cf and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the upcoming features of the next version of the Enrich add-on, uh, which is 2.0. So this video contains a part of the features list and uh, uh, the content shown in this video are subject to change because the add-on is still in heavy development. Uh, so some of the features may change once the final version has released. So let's get started. Let's just activate the uh, the new enrich add-on and uh, this is the new enrich panel over here as you can see it's completely different from the previous versions uh, because of the completely redesigned system of how enrich add-on works uh, previously the enrich add-on had a complete set of settings which used to show up over here uh, which includes some of the settings and effects which you never even used in some of the uh, renders and previously you had to generate the entire node tree and that also consumed a lot of memory. Uh, so with this new version, uh, it's completely dynamic. You can add your own effects, kind of like layer system, which has been added. So you can click on plus to get started and you can add any of the effect which was previously available uh, in the uh, in which add on uh, you can add it from here. So let's get started. Let's just add in brightness and contrast. And as you can see, it automatically gets added in the node tree over here. You can control the brightness and the contrast or the settings which come with the effect over here. It's all completely uh, dynamic over here itself. You can control the opacity of this effect or the strength. So actually there's no, let's just add in some brightness. And as you can see, you can control the opacity of that. You can obviously change the blend mode. So you can add in screen, maybe some other better modes, multiply, mix, and you can also hide the effects like such. If you don't want it you can obviously rename the effect if you want as per your convenience and then you can also stack multiple effects together for example previously you were allowed to choose only one preset from the presets menu but now you can add in or you can stack multiple presets together to create much better effects so let's just add in a preset first and this is one preset and we can just choose uh, the effect that we like from this uh, presets menu so let's just choose uh, any one of it and you can obviously control the uh, the opacity and the blend of the uh, preset as well and let's add in one more preset now and we have added in one more preset and now we can uh, change the uh, the preset so let's just choose maybe uh, lomo 2 and as you can see we have combined two presets uh, to make a really nice effect and obviously you can you know control the strength of the preset like such if you want lesser low mo now so as you can see like such you can obviously hide the preset if you don't want it as you can see it's really nice you can completely control the uh, the effects that you want and uh, you can you know add in the uh, other other effects like such you can move the effects up or down like such and it completely updates the node tree as you are working over here visually so it's really nice and this is one of the you know the main core changes of the enrich add-on obviously the previous uh, version files which were using the previous uh, enrich add-on uh, are sort of broken with this new system uh, but don't worry i'll make sure that the the previous add-on files also work with this new enrich add-on system so that shouldn't be a problem so yeah this video was just to show this new effect system again a lot of development is needed uh, to you know fix all the major issues currently in the effects a section of the add-on but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any other questions you can leave them in the comments and uh, thanks for watching uh, do subscribe and leave a comment